Hi and welcome to four cult classics. Now, oh, the first one I've used for 50 years and it is in fact 1911 that it came out, which is Nivea Cream. Now, it's very rare that the smell of a product that you originally bought might maintain for that long a time. But as soon as I smell this, it takes me back. It takes me back to skiing holidays in Switzerland. I don't know why, but I put it on everywhere. It is that kind of all-purpose cream. It's got very old-fashioned ingredients, lanolin alcohol. You know, you put it on, takes a while to rub in. It's a barrier. This is the true concept of a barrier cream. But I used to slather it on everywhere. I'd go on holiday. It was the only cream I took along with, did I take SPF then? And there's something still about it, that little tin, which you can not easily get now the original one which I used to keep in my jacket and always have with me so hasn't changed much for me really. Nivea. £4.39. Next up is one of my favourite moisturisers and it's not something with hugely active modern day ingredients like a dermatologist brand but it's Santa Maria Novella. Now this is the oldest company of any companies I will ever talk about on Clout Classics because this company Santa Maria Vella has gone since 1221 based in Florence it's like a cathedral if you ever get to Florence it's the most beautiful shop to visit and they do some skincare formulations Crema F is one of my favorite there we go and it's got in it vitamin F which is very hydrating uh, wheat germ oil and avocado oil and jojoba the smell is kind of old lady granny sweet gardenery, you know, it's not for people who like clean uh, unisex smells at all. It's very feminine. But the cream itself, I love the application because even though it's very white and you might think it would take ages to rub in, it just rubs in beautifully and it leaves this sort of, again, a lovely barrier, incredible sense of hydration. And then that smell lingers. So if you're the kind of person who likes to have a moisturizer and you want that when you turn your head, you'll get that from the Crema F from Santa Maria Novella, and that is 70 pounds. It's not cheap, but I've had this for a year and a bit, if not longer, I use so little. Third up is very tricky for me because this I would have had without doubt in a cult classic about 10 years ago, which is Eve Lom Cleansing Balm. To me, the original cleansing balm is from Yves Lom. I used to go to Yves Lom um, in the West End and have facials with her from the age of 25. She was married to Herbert Lom, who was in the Pink Panther movies, and she was an incredible facialist. And in the later years of practicing, she's become far more interested in um, cranial osteopathy. And so she'd spend like, you know, an hour on my face, but like an hour and a half on my chest and, and a thing. So very holistic in her approach. And this formula was at the time just such a beautiful formula. I've got quite an old one here. It's gone a bit grainy, but you know, it's slightly changed and I feel the experience is slightly different. The ingredients, you know, it has Egyptian chamomile, chamomile oil, which is a chamomile she was obsessed with, clove oil, eucalyptus oil. But it was sold, the company, to Space NK. They bought it and then they expanded the brand. And Eve had a very strong principles about the maximum number of things you needed. She had a very sort of strict criteria and that all changed. So I felt the brand credentials have been diluted since it's been sold. And the formula to this has changed a tiny bit, but it still, to me, is a cult classic. Then we have the bath oil of bath oils to me. Olverberm. Olverum. I never know how to pronounce this. I've used this for 30 years, maybe. It started in, let me just see if we know when it started, 1931. And the smell just brings back so many memories. You need the tiniest bit. But I smell that verbena. I love the smell of verbena. Juniper berry. And juniper berry is brilliant for hormonal balance. So if you're having a moment when you're feeling a bit up and down, needing the tension to be released. Some magnesium fakes and that together is a beautiful combination. There you have it. Four things that I love in my bathroom. Oh, 